Hey everybody, what's up? This video is going to cover a few random things, but first off, I need to say thank you very much to the Game Chasers, Billy, J, Dodongo, and Melvor. Uh, they put up a new episode of the Game Chasers yesterday, and it happened to be one with me in it. Um, I had invited them many, many months ago to come out to a, a show while I was on tour. Um, I work for the band Korn, and I thought maybe they'd be interested, and it just so happens they were. They came out hung out for a few hours, uh, filmed some stuff, we talked about games, <laughs> big surprise there, um, and you know they watched the show. I had a great time, uh, the episode is awesome. Uh, if you're watching me and you're a game fan, you probably know who they are, um, but if you don't, go watch the damn episode, it's awesome. Uh, and again, thank you guys very much. I hopefully will be able to make it out to, you, uh, to Texas in the near future, maybe go game chasing with you, or you can drive your asses all the way down to Florida and uh, come hang out with me and Joey at the Wagon Wheel Flea Market. But either way, thank you guys again very, very much. To continue on with the thank yous, uh, a fellow YouTuber by the name of Michael Pierce had a game up for sale. Um, it is Ghost in the Shell on the PS1. Uh, I own the PS2 and the PSP game, so this is the only one I was missing. And uh, he gave it to me for a really good price, and it was in good condition, so I was like, fuck yeah, I'll grab that. Um, so thank you very much, Michael. And I got Duke Nukem 64. This uh, came from Joey, actually. He picked it up uh, at a pawn shop, I guess, when I wasn't with him by his house or something. And he gave it to me for a couple bucks. Um, I got the first Pocky and Rocky on the SNES. I now own all three Pocky and Rocky games. This was the last one that uh, I was waiting for to come in the mail a few weeks ago. Took a little while, but at least it came in one piece and it works, so that's all that really matters. Um, I got Mushroom Min the Spore Wars on the Wii. Uh, a copy was traded in at my store, and um, it goes less than $10, but it's just a, a weird, quirky game that I passed up when it first came out. Um, I would like to get the DS one as well, because that's actually a prequel to the Wii one. Um, but I haven't seen that one complete in the box uh, for quite a while either. And only two other things. Um, <laughs> this one's kind of funny. Uh, Decap Attack. Um, we had actually, back on the Game Hunting in a Hurricane video, we found this. Um, but I didn't notice, uh, I, was, I was slipping, I didn't notice that the game cartridge, someone had written in, like, ballpoint pen, like, really hard, and actually, like, sort of engraved some lines into it. That drove me nuts. I couldn't erase it or get it off, obviously. It was deep in there and dented it, so I bought another cart for four dollars, and I, uh, I sold the one I bought um, to Joey for two bucks. So I really only paid two dollars for the cart, so that's not too, too bad. Uh, and the only other thing I got is uh, Wizardry 5. Um, this has the manual with it, as you can see. It came in a nice SNES case. And this cart was, like, pristine, nice and shiny. Um, this is uh, actually still Aaron's, because I haven't paid <laughs> paid him yet for it. Um, Aaron up at the flea market. Um, but I uh, he wanted 10 bucks for it. And uh, Aaron, if you're watching this, this game's going for less than 10 bucks now, even with the manual. So I'll give you... I'll give you five for it. We'll haggle, you know, when I see him this Saturday. But that's about it for the games. Um, but uh, one more thank you. It's like the thank you video. Um, I had a guy contact me um, by the name of David Little through YouTube. I'm a big uh, Munchkin fan. It's a card game. I've posted a few videos in the past about it. Um, it's not a collectible card game, it's just sort of like you buy the box, you play it, but there's tons of sets and series and promo stuff for it. He um, is one of the like men in black for the game company that makes it, Steve Jackson Games. Basically that means he's a guy that gets promo stuff and goes to conventions and while people are playing or whatever, hands it out and you can get cool cards that you can't buy somewhere you know, from a person like him. So he said, hey, I got a bunch of stuff, I'll send it to you, a bunch of promo items. He sent me so much shit, um, <laughs> mainly because it was also my birthday, so he packed in a few other things, but dude, it, it's nuts. I thank him very much. I'll just sort of quickly show you. Uh, he sent me all this stuff. There's a couple games here that aren't Munchkin. He was just sort of sending them as a birthday present. 
Cthulhu dice, which you can actually use a little bit with Munchkin. A bunch of these promo bookmarks and some cards for another uh, game that they put out, like a board game called Munchkin Quest. And then all this stuff is more bookmarks. Um, the bookmarks, I know you're like, bookmarks? What the fuck does that mean if you don't know what the game is? They um, have special rules for the game um, all in the back, so if you have the this bookmark sort of like in play, um, it'll give you special powers, extra levels, all that kind of crap. And the best thing... Oh, wait, there's a slap bracelet. That was pretty awesome. And some coins. The coins also have special, special usage throughout the game. Um, best thing, though, were couple really rare cards. Um, you, this card is basically if the artist uh, drew on it, then um, that monster was uh, able to be used in the game. Um, this one is the creator of Munchkin. Uh, he had had him sign it and write a little rule on it. Just two cards that are very uncommon that you don't really see, and when they do come up on eBay, especially if they're signed like that, they kind of go for some pretty high fucking prices. So... I can't thank you enough, man. That's so so much cool crap. I picked up a few things when I was at Dragon Con for my birthday. Um, I got the Walking Dead Survivor's Guide. Just basically tells you where the characters in the story are at currently. Um, I did get some new figurines. Uh, some new Final Fantasy ones. These are little mini figures where you can change out their faces and their arms and stuff like that. Uh, Yuna. I got... Cloud with his little motorcycle, and Squall with his cranky sad face, and a cactar and a poo poo. <laughs> no, not a, like a literally a poo poo, a character called poo poo. Um, and Final Fantasy Creatures Volume 4. Um, I'm a big fan of the monsters from basically any game, but uh, mainly that's my favorite thing to collect for Final Fantasy is all the creatures and monsters from all the games. Um, only other stuff I got was this little guy up here, this little doll, Ed and Ein, from uh, Cowboy Bebop, and a t-shirt of The Walking Dead, and a Silent Hill comic book that's somewhere back in there. I, I couldn't find it right now. <laughs> I promised another YouTuber that I would answer one of his uh, questions that he does on his uh, channel. He puts these, his like, series of questions he asks everyone to do like a response to. Um, the newest one is... What is your favorite uh, sci-fi movie or TV show? My favorite sci-fi movie of all time uh, would have to be The Thing, the 80s remake of it. Um, why? Because it has some of, even still today, by the today's standards, some of the best um, practical uh, props and practical special effects. Um, they are just blew my mind. They still amaze me today. Uh, some of the most creepy fucking things uh, I've ever seen. But that would be my answer uh, to your question. So go check out 49er Nation 1 is his uh, channel name. Um, and he does that series on there. So thank you uh, again to everybody that sent me shit. Um, thank you the Game Chasers. You guys are fucking badass. You know that though. Um, and that's it guys. I will talk to you all later. Peace.